And we're back with another food video. Yay! <laughs> it's been way too long. It has. We're excited to try all of these Australian foods. Yeah, so for today's video, we picked 10 Australian snacks and two Australian beverages to try. Now, disclaimer, some things we have tried, aka Vegemite toast, and actually fallen in love with, but a lot of this we have not tried yet, so we're really excited. Let's do it. So the first item up is Vegemite toast. And to make a proper Australian Vegemite toast, you need a slice of bread, you need to spread butter, and you're gonna want a good amount. And then you just spread a thin, emphasis on thin layer of Vegemite, otherwise you will regret it. So Vegemite isn't new to us. Like Jenny said, we eat it every morning and it's one of our favorites, but let's dig in. I probably put too much on mine, That's but okay. I started to like it. Mm. Crunchy toast, savory butter, and then it's like a... Salty? Salty Vegemite on top. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love it now. Yeah. I used to hate it, but just a little bit goes a long way. We're gonna enjoy these. And moving up next, we now have fairy bread. So we've never heard of fairy bread, but apparently it's something they serve at kids' parties. And it's white bread spread with butter, and you top it with sprinkles, or what do they call it here? Hundreds and thousands, Yeah. apparently. My coworkers say it's great. They were very excited for us to try it, so we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna toast one piece of bread and then leave the other piece of bread untoasted because we've read you can make it both ways. So we're gonna try both. Let's do it. And we did it! Which one you wanna try first? Toasted. Toasted. Very excited. Cheers! Cheers. First fairy bread. It's pretty weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. Mm. I just got the sugar with the butter. Very nice salty and sweetness with the butter to a sprinkle ratio. Well done, Jenny. Yeah, I wonder how this one's gonna taste. Right, let's try. I'm gonna take a bite right out of the middle. Regular. No crust. No crust, ready? Mmm. <laughs> No that. It's <laughs> pure sprinkles. I think I like the toasted one more. I think so too. This one is just white bread and sugar. Yeah, I like the toasted one better. I agree. Toasted fairy bread. I was really excited to try this, so I'm glad we finally did it. On to the next one. Australian snack number three, or not, shapes. So we got the chicken crimpy flavor. I don't know what that is. And Jenny, what'd you get? Oh, the sausage sizzle. The sausage, <laughs> sausage sizzle. So let's open Ooh. these up and give them a try. I just want to point out that their picture is a piece of sausage on a folded piece of white bread. Which you can find at Bunnings Warehouse. We never got to try one, but that's a good place to get a sausage sizzle. Apparently. All right, let's open them up. I thought they were going to be individual bags. Okay. Ooh. Smell. That smells good. That's like barbecue-y. Smells like a barbecue. Oh, and they're in Australian shape. Aw, these aren't. You gotta save room now, <laughs> number three. All right, so they're called shapes because all the different flavors have a different shape. The chicken crimpy looks like a chicken crimpy. I'm just kidding, I don't know what that is. But the Aussie Legends looks like Australia, which is pretty cool. Pretty, which is pretty cool. You said no, neat and cool. Yeah. What are we trying first? I want to try this one. Sausage sizzle. Yeah. Sausage sizzle. Sausage sizzle shape. <laughs> so excited. Cheers. Oh, we went for it. Mmm. Mmm. Salty. That's weird. Bit of tomato sauce. I got the onion, the caramelized onion. Mm-hmm. All right. You want to try chicken crimpy? Chicken crimpy. Yeah. Cheers. I don't know if it's because we just had that. I didn't get much flavor. It's flavorful. It's just, it's your chicken, basic chicken flavor. It's a nice cracker. I'd eat it with some soup. That's all it's got going <laughs> for it. it <laughs> what a review. But yeah, my favorite mm. sausage sizzle. I'm glad we got these. Give this a go. It's really nice. Mmm. 
We should bring these home. Mm -hmm. Number four? Four. Okay. Yep. Four. Solo original lemon. Lemonade. Lemonade drink. So lemonade in Australia, and I believe England as well, isn't like lemonade in the US. Lemonade in the US is not carbonated, but this is a fizzy drink here in Australia, right? I think so. Let's just, you wanna find out? Yeah. But we haven't had this yet. Don't drink a lot of soda. Fizzy drink. That's fizzy though. Mm. All right, let's try it. Cheers. Solo. Oh, that's fizzy. Hmm. That is not as sugary as I thought it was going to be. It's not. It's actually really nice. Yeah. Huh. I expected it to be more like a soda. It's got mm. 69 grams of sugar for the whole, no, for <laughs> serving. <laughs> So this bottle has 69 grams of sugar, 600 milliliters for the bottle. So we'll do the math later, see how much it compares to a Coke. But yeah, it tastes good. It's not doesn't taste super sweet, obviously it is. That surprised me. Really good. Yeah, I liked that. Up next, Cheezels. Original cheese flavored snacks. They're like big rings. Smells like Cheetos, Cheez Its. Seeing a commercial where they do this. Is that the proper way to eat it? Probably. Let's try it. Mm hmm. Cheese puff. Yeah. In circular form. That is fluffy. It's not too crunchy like a Cheeto. It's mm -hmm. more like a cheese puff. Mm hmm. Nice and airy. Good cheese flavor. Mm. They're good. Good junk food. They <laughs> are good junk food. Snack number six. Six. Are not iced Vovo. So what is this? This is a treasured biscuit favorite, topped with pink fondant, a strip oh. of jammy raspberry topping, and a sprinkling of coconut. An Aussie icon since 1906. Oh yeah, mate. I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't like fondant. Does not look like my kind of thing. That's what they look like. The crack, the cookie looks pretty nice though. Cheers to a nice logo. We have not had these before. It smells very coconutty. Mm. Mm. That's different right there. That is very coconutty. I didn't think it'd be that coconutty, but it is. Oh, it's not for me. I don't like that. Think of a snowball in the US, but instead of cake and marshmallow, you got a cookie and jam. I'm gonna, uh, I'll finish it. You'll finish it. The top, I don't like fondant, and I'm not the biggest jam fan. This isn't Jenny's <laughs> cookie or biscuit. I don't really like it, but I'll eat it. This is my least favorite. I agree. On to the next one. And snack food number seven are not and Zach biscuits. So we've seen these on TV. They do a lot of, sorry, there's a truck going by. Okay. Okay, so we've seen these on TV. They're in a lot of commercials. We wanted to give them a try, so let's open them up. They are nothing but flour, butter, raw sugar, oats, golden syrup, coconut, salt, and natural flavor. Very basic biscuit. I think there's a bit of history with Anzac biscuit. They smell nice. This is what they look like. Anzac biscuits have long been associated with the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps established in World War I. So a historical biscuit. Historical biscuit. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. So far. Good crunch. Mm-hmm. I like the saltiness. They're not too sweet. Not too coconutty, even though there's coconut in there. It reminded me, because it snaps, but then once you chew it, it gets a little bit softer, like molasses cookie kind of. Yeah, it's not too too hard. Mm -mm. I like the Anzac biscuit, kind of like an oatmeal cookie. I like this way more than that last thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of coconut in Australian oh. desserts. You'll see that a bit more. Okay, on to the next. All right, switching it up to chocolate now. Another chocolate and a sweet with coconut again. So they like coconut here. We you picked all the sweets with coconut. Maybe. So up next is the cherry ripe. An Australian chocolate treat. 
So, I don't know if there's a description on here. Yes. Ripe, juicy cherries and, co and coconut and old, gold, rich, dark chocolate. So think of like an Almond Joy or a Mounds mm -hmm. with cherries in it, covered in chocolate. Mm. No nuts. It's a Cadbury bar as well. Cadbury. This is something that we have tried. Jenny got me one for my birthday. Or I think I bought one on sale. Just to try it Probably. at Woolies. So that's what it looks like. This Emma. is more sugar than we've consumed in the past three weeks combined. That's what it looks like inside. You got your coconut, cherry, chocolate. Let's give it a go. Yeah, it's very good. I do like cherry ripe. Dark chocolate, I think, mm -hmm. is the winner. Mm -hmm. We like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sweet, though. Item number nine, Tim Tam. So there is an original Tim Tam flavor. We didn't buy that one, but we have had it before. It's just your regular chocolate, and it's really good. So we've fallen in love with the chewy caramel ones. We buy them for an after-dinner snack on the regular. But we wanted to try something new for this video. So they have these crafted collection, limited edition ones. So we got the Sunshine Coast Strawberries and Cream. Mm. I'll give it a try. So Tim Tam is like the iconic Australian cookie, right? Like Oreos in America. Yeah. Here's what they look like. I can smell the strawberry. They smell very strawberry mm. Let's try them. Tim Tam. Thank you. Mm -hmm. These look like they have milk chocolate. Really creamy. They're good. They're pretty sweet though. Mmm. -hmm. No? Very sweet. I like the strawberry breaks up the chocolate. I'm gonna show you a caramel one. Because they're my favorite. So you take a bite out of these. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice little caramel in the middle with the little chocolate on the edges. Super good. These are my favorite. Mine too. And for number 10, we have the famous Milo. So Milo is like a Nesquik in the US. It's like a malted chocolate powder that you mix with milk. And I also really love it on some vanilla bean ice cream. Just sprinkle it right on top. It's the perfect topping. Kind of crunchy. So I good. You love it. <laughs> I like it a lot. All right, so we're gonna go make some cups of this. We'll be right back. You can have it hot or cold, but we're gonna have it with hot milk, right? All right, so we mix the Milo. That's what it looks like, and some hot milk. Let's give it a try. That's what it looks like now. Cheers. Mm. It's just like hot chocolate, yeah, actually. Just it's like a nice like, hot chocolate. Yeah, it's a cold day and you just want something cozy. You can make chocolate milk with it, hot chocolate. You can put it on ice cream. You can put it on ice cream. I think you can eat it straight if you want to. Next up, Tim Tam Slams. <laughs> All right, so to do a Tim Tam Slam, you bite off a corner on each end. So go ahead Opposite and do it. ends. One. So turn into a straw. Like that. And then you dunk one side so it's sort of like a straw. And then once it starts to get soft, you slam the Tim Tam in your mouth. But you have to like suck it right, like a straw. We gotta do this fast and melting. Okay, me too. <laughs> I probably look disgusting. <laughs> but it's so crazy how it just dissolves. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It just melts in her mouth. Because usually so gross. It's so fun. Tim -tim Try a Tim Tam Slim. Just probably not on camera. Sorry if that was disgusting. Sorry. <laughs> and item number 11 is Bundaberg ginger beer. We are opting for a fizzy drink right now because we're probably gonna have stomach aches later. We are. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, so Bundaberg ginger beer is iconic here. We see people walking down, well, you used to see people walking down the street with it a lot. Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. It's a cute little bottle as well. Short and stout. So it's ginger beer. That's what it looks like. It's like a pretty well established company here. Yeah. Very Australian. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's so refreshing. Nice. That's so refreshing. Oh, it's so delicious. Pretty sweet. 
Mm. Not too fizzy like a ginger ale. Maybe no. this one. Bottle of good old fashioned ginger beer. It's a lot more gingery than a ginger ale is. You can see real ginger pieces in the bottle. All right, so for our last um, snack to try, number 12 is the delicious Australian Lamington. So these are jam filled Lamingtons. We've had the regular ones before. But basically a lamington is sponge cake covered in chocolate and a dusting of shaved coconut. So they're four big pieces of cake. I don't usually like jam in the middle, but here we go. Ooh, look at that jam. Oh, Let's try it with the jam. Lamington. Trying it with the jam. Mmm. I like the jam. So it's a nice light sponge, thin layer of chocolate, so it's not too chocolatey. Mm -mm. Plenty of coconut flavor. I think these reminded me a lot of Samoas. Samosas? Huh? What are the things called? Not Samosas. What are the, what are the Girl Scout <laughs> cookies called? I think it's Samoas. Samoa Girl Scout cookies because it's the chocolate <laughs> and the coconut. These are awesome. I love Lamingtons. I love regular Lamingtons. These ones are not my favorite because I'm not a big fan of jam filled. Desserts. Um, the regular lamingtons are delicious. I'm so proud of us for making it through all the food. All right, the final list. So recap all my favorites. Number one, Vegemite Toast. Two, Solo. Three, Shapes. Four, Lamingtons. Five, Tim Tams. Six, Ginger Beer. Seven, Cherry Ripe. Eight, Cheezels. Nine, Anzac Biscuits. Ten, Fairy Bread. 11 Milo and 12 the iced Bobo. <laughs> On you, Jenny. All right, so my number one is Vegemite toast, which makes sense because we genuinely do eat that almost every day. Um, Tim Tams, two. Number three, Shapes. Four, Bundaberg. Five, Solo. Six, Anzac. Seven, Cheezels. Eight, Milo. Say nine, Lamington. 10 cherry ripe, 11 fairy bread, and 12 bobos. Poor bobos, they're awful. <laughs> we don't like them. We don't like them. Maybe people, I'm sure people do, obviously. We basically just Googled top Australian snacks to try and went to the store and went crazy. So, $35 worth of snacks put to the test. Yeah, so that's our list. Uh, let us know if you have any contradictions or if there's anything else we should have tried we can definitely still try to try it while we're here yep and that was really fun i'm glad we did that yeah so if you also if you're australian and you've tried these treats let us know your ranking in the comments below so this is pretty much all that we can do <laughs> as far in as film. in film um in the current circumstances this is how we're keeping ourselves entertained and we hope you enjoy the video so stay safe we're gonna go lie down now. Probably put sweatpants on. Have a tums. <laughs> Have a tums. <laughs> but we survived it and it was really fun and delicious. So we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.